Fourth commandment, honor your father and mother. This means that we should fear and love God so that we do not despise or anger our parents and other authorities, but honor them, serve and obey them, love and cherish them. The fourth commandment is where we usually start to make the turn between the two great tables of the law. Uh, the first three commandments, love God. The rest of them, fourth commandment through the tenth, love your neighbor. But the thing is, uh, these are not necessarily all that disconnected, not only because they are from God, your Father Almighty, uh, but because the fourth commandment is also tied very deeply to the third and the second. Um, these are the places God works. He works behind and through his name. Think about your baptism where he attaches his name to you through water. He works in his word and that is placed in your church where we hear his word and receive his gifts. And he also works inside of his creation. You see this first and foremost in that he made you. You have parents. Uh, we don't need to get into a pamphlet or anything about how that works, but uh, God gives you good gifts in your parents. It's hard to believe. Like, not by my own reason or strength can I believe this, because I know my parents. They're sinners. <laughs> he doesn't just call us to love them, but honor them. Obey them. So, is your curfew in the Bible? Yeah. You have to practice the piano now. God says so. It's in the fourth commandment. Honor your father and your mother. Unless your parents speak or act against God's holy word, we must hear them as if God is himself speaking through them. Uh, where they call you to disobey the scriptures, to go against God's word, we must obey God rather than men. Uh, because your parents, even though they are good gifts from God, they're subject to God's law too. Uh, but the thing is, I think we know that the reason that we look for this loophole so quickly is because our parents are wrong sometimes. They're hypocrites. Uh, they believe in something they have not necessarily lived up to themselves. They're sinners. Uh, they just don't understand. The commandment still stands. It doesn't say honor your father and mother unless they're wrong or honor your father and mother unless they just totally don't get it. Honor your father and mother because, not just deal with it, but because God has promised to work through these specific sinners for you. The fourth commandment is such a gift because we can see where God works. The church doesn't always look like much, but we know behind that bread and wine, God can accomplish miracles. He can feed you with his body and blood. And every bit as miraculous, he can take a parent like me and he can work good for my kids. Here he promises uh, to work through your parents by placing them at his side and commanding honor. And that's actually a great gift because now we can look at these two sinners who clearly have no idea what they're doing and still know God can even work here. That if there was a great tug of war match between your parents and your God, you can recognize that your God is stronger and he will win and he will accomplish that which he needs to for you. It's actually where the promise in this commandment comes from. You know, the, that it, your days would be long in the land your Lord, your God is giving to you. Because otherwise, uh, honor your father and mother that your days would be long sounds kind Kind of more like a threat than a promise, like a, a protection racket uh, from the mob. But, but here we actually get to see, not just you'll die if you don't listen, but that God wants to work through here to take care of you. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.